Hello, recommenders. Here is Romeo from recommendationbook.com, and today I have the review of an auto folder from Gunzo. Well, this here is the box where it came. Firebird. It's so one of those new boxes with the with the silk sack and the silica gel and the bubble wrap. This here is the model made in China. China Gunzo Tools. And this here is the knife. The Gunzo. Let me see here. F7. Five eight. Well, now why do I want to get this knife? I wanted an auto folding knife for the collection, and I heard the really good things about the autos from Guns, so I wanted to try one out. Now the specifications, this here is the model F7, F7582 AL GY. GI. You can see here is the gray version. Let me show you again here. The model number is the F7582. The 2 stands for stone wash, AL for aluminum. And GI for gray. This here is the gray model, as you can see, the gray handles. Stone wash blade. Uh, the type of lock is a button lock. Button lock. The steel is 44C with a stone wash finish. A very beautiful stone wash finish, very dark stone wash finish. The handle is aluminum. The type of the aluminum is not informed by guns. The blade hardening is not informed by guns. The weight is 4 ounces. The overall length is 8.2 inches. The blade length is 3.6 inches. And check it out the description box. I'm gonna leave in the description box all the other measurements I did for this knife. Now let's make a size comparison here with a pen, a tactical pen. There you can see the, the Gunzo F758 in comparison with the Likes B2 pen. Here the Gunzo F758 in comparison with the Cold Steel Recon. The Cold Steel Recon is a 4 inches folder. There in comparison with the Cold Steel Recon. Here you can see the, the F758 in comparison with the Cold Steel Pro Light. The Pro Light is a 3.4, 3.3 inches folder. And here you can see the Gunzo F758 in comparison with the Simu Healer, a copy of the Spyderco Delica made by a Brazilian company. I think it's a 2.5 inches folder, let me see. 2.75 inch folder. 2.7 inch folder. There you can see the Gunzo F758 in comparison with a 2.7 inch folder. Let me close the other folders here, just for safety. Now let's see the initial sharpness. Initial sharpness is very high. Let's see. It's 
So as you can see, the initial sharpen is very high. The initial sharpness of the chip is also very high. I'm gonna show you. Initial sharpen is very high, initial sharpness of the chip is very high. The corrosion resistance of the 440C is going to be very good. The ease of sharpen is going to be very good. Let's see the blade centering. Almost perfect. Let's check for blade play. No blade play, side to side and upside down. No blade play. The quality of the hardware I think is very good. The ergonomics of the handle is very comfortable. The ergonomics are very good. Reverse grip, reverse grip and forward grip, very good. There is a very big linear hole. There is space in the handle for the far fingers. The cleaning inside the handle is very good. Cleaning inside the handle is very good. The deployment is via button lock. It's an auto folder. Very easy. You have the safety here. As you can see there, when the locks in the in, when the in, in the lock here is in the open position, you can open the folder. When the lock is in the closed position, you cannot open the folder. And when you have the knife open and the safety is on, you cannot close the folder. So the safety work in the when the knife is open and closed. The deployment is very easy. Via button lock. Very good deployment. Very easy to depress the button. To press the button, I mean. The orientations of the clip. It's a chip up, right side, or a chip down, right side only. There is no left side. Chip down, right side. Or chip up right side only. Let's see how much appears when the knife is on the pocket. This here is what's going to appear when the knife is on the pocket. This here is what's going to appear. Uh, from zero to ten, I give a five for the discretion. 5, from 0 to 10, 5, for how discreet the, the clip is. It's very easy to put in and, out, in, in and out of the pocket. The utilitarian application. Well, the blade shape is great for utilitarian use. It's very lightweight. The clip is very good. The action is very good. It's safe to carry because of the safety. It's safe to here, it's safe to carry inside the pocket. Although it's a, an auto knife, looks more like an utility folder than a tactical folder, which I think is good. With auto knives, I would be more careful when, when processing food, so the food doesn't get inside of the mechanisms. Now the tactical application is very fast. It has a good reach. But the handle is not very grip. For a tactical application, I would recommend the G10 version of this knife. Another thing to take in consideration is that being an auto folder, it gets a bad reputation as a criminal knife. So be aware that if you use it in a self-defense situation, it will be bad seen in court. It's a budget auto, so it's very inexpensive, which is good in case it gets apprehended by the cop lost, broken, or stolen. So the touch complication is very good, the utilitarian application is very good. Now the final considerations. 
The price I paid was $22.29 on GH Gate. The conclusion. I don't even know why anyone should get a more expensive auto. This knife is perfect not just for the price, but it's perfect for an auto, an auto folder. It is recommended. It's, it's, it is highly recommended. Also, this is it for the review of the Gunzo F758. Uh, leave your comments on the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you later.